Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Again, my name is Diet Quintana. I'm a forex trader. I've been trading for four years now, but late last year, I've started focusing on forex trading. Okay, so I'm here. I'm here sharing. I'm here in this YouTube channel um, to share my trading routine. And of course, sharing you guys my trading journey. My goal is to share to you the habits, my habits, inside and outside trading. And I hope I could help someone like me who wants to improve and focus their, their trading. And if you, if you are the one, let me know so, you know, we could... We could talk and share something right so as of now i'm still uh, focusing on forecasting but i'm in the future videos i want to i want to share the <clears throat> the my forecasting the summary of the week trades that i've taken trades that i've that i have avoided and of course my advanced self review and many more but I'm focusing on that three so if you like that please comment uh on the sec on the comment section below so without further ado let's start my forecasting so first on the list euro usd so again i'm st i'm i'm recording this um thursday thursday night so usually ideally uh i want to record this early in the morning so since we got we got BC uh, earlier, no, this is the it's better to do it now than never, right? So first, Euro USD. So Thursday, um, Thursday started here. Let me just replay this one. So again, we came from we came from an identified range price action. There you go, and then we had we saw this descending, but because so ideally, I mean, textbook wise, we should be sitting on our hands, and then wait for the break of this get involved on a retest and then continue but since the characteristic of euro pairs it has a tendency to do a weak price movement and then uh, followed by an impulse which the price did it did it here right so for example this happened is there any possible entry? What happened? Hmm. So we got this. So we're getting a downtrend, a real good downtrend move here. We got a nice impulse, but we're getting a weak also. So all in all, I don't have any trades here. So this might be a trade, right? But I don't know, I didn't get involved. Hmm, bullet. Hi. Anyway. I still don't have trade on your USD this week. So this happens. So this downtrend, it made a reversal. So as we all know, we had this in our template, a V reversal followed by a range and a break. You know, so this is a V reversal. So we could we could expect or we might see an uptrend, uptrend move 
on the following days. So right now it's Thursday and then we we're going to have our last day trading of the week tomorrow. So as of now, we got a break from here. So this is a nice impulse, continuous um, momentum. And then we got a break from here. So let me just label a break of structure. So usually I want to see after a week, I want to see some range, which it did. But what happened was, um, it didn't create the, the ideal setup for me. 11.910, 11.904, lower, lower, 8.99. So, so if you can see the, the lower, the lower week, it continued to move down. So, I want, what I want to see is a down. Ward movement followed by counter. Oh, sorry. Downward movement followed by counter momentum and another downward movement that I will get in. And it didn't happen here. Right? And now we're breaking the high. Not not that not so good because this candle closes inside or you know it breaks the high the major high with the wick and we don't want to see that. So we're just going to see what, what will happen the following um, candles. Very nice. Okay. So Euro JPY. Euro JPY, very um, similar uh, price action. Price, prior price action coming from a downtrend. And then we got this week over here. Sign of reversal, so we're possibly we're getting this one, <clears throat> but uh, I just I just uh, consider the the heavy downtrend, and then after an impasse, we're getting this, you know, telling us you know we we might see a possible reversal. So again, I'm talking about this V reversal, so which I actually entered this is my first trade for the week what i want here was uh the range happen after the break of range and look, it looks like staying there and the price i like how the price uh, sits on the bomb line and how it breaks it only breaks by uh by its candle or by its week Right, and we will see. I'm. I think it's worth. It's worth it to try. It's worth the one percent to try, uh, or to get involved on this trade. And then, I will update you what will what uh what will happen here. So that's for Euro JPY. So what I'm expecting is because this happened. One, two, three. I'm expecting a break of the high. And if the high breaks, um, we might see or we might reduce our risk. So why why did why did I enter on this trade? So first, prior price action was nice for me. So that's plus, and then followed by a huge week on top, which is not so good. Usually, um after a very huge week on top it, we could see a possible reversal we could see a possible reversal or a wide range all right so that invalidated because it create a range and i like how it um it break the the bomb so yeah Let's see what will happen. Of course, this could easily go down and con oh, sorry. And continue the move. Could get this and continue the range, right? Of course, we could also 
see a break and retest what is that possible another bump but let's see if we could scale in uh, after breaking this high as of now i'm just sitting my hands and letting the price or letting the market do what it's supposed to do okay so as you all know i don't you should subscribe to any news i know there's uh something happening out there but yeah i i'm just um reading the price you know that's that's enough for me so yeah that's for euro jpy very clean i like it on uh, next one on uh, aussie dollar so same thing we got we came from this range we tried to break we tried to break from the range with that ascending manner and then what happened was it gave us a heavy down trend oh my gee look at this heavy down trend let me just let me just, let me just fix this let's go and then there's a nice break actually but it was it followed by a big and a huge momentum candles i think we reversed already here so this is our reversal the f this is our reversal break out there we go and then we got another break Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we we'll got another break here there you go right there so as of now we might get a doji on top but it just started so we will see but i like the candles i like how it break this uh, major highs and we're getting two nice candles so i would be happy to get involved on a nice bomb here or combo before moving up i could just get a retest and then move up let me just move it here so retest from this line Let me see if we get an inside bar. Oh, we have an inside bar. Hold on. So the bullet would be here. There we go. That would be our bullet line. So I would be happy to get involved here if we made the retest or we can see a combo or a flag for this retracement and before continuing its move. And of course we could just easily go down again and then retest, continue the downward movement or breakdown get involved in a flag continuation move down you could see a price struggling breaking this low sit our hands and then wait for the breakout get involved in a retest continue its move and of course you could start getting con a corrective um, break of the high sit on our hands wait for this continuation or retest pattern and then get involved so we're prepared no mentally prepared we imagine what what's the possible scenario so we we or i'm as i'm setting my expectations and a healthy emotion and expectation could help me stay well in the game so that's for all oh, c dollar and i'm i'm liking it okay so as of now it's 
I think 11 or 12. 12 midnight. So it's gonna be a London session. And let's see what's, what's going to happen. And I hope if there's an opportunity or a um a setup, I hope it, it would happen in New York. So that's Aussie dollar. Um next is Aussie JPY. So same thing we came and I think we're still on this range so this is what I'm telling you guys we get this corrective break of the low and now where are we now break of structure we get this high we got this low yeah low it's gonna be the bullet <sighs> so do we get did we get a bomb low low oh yeah i think we did we, we did get a bomb but i'm gonna stay out because of this candle Yes, because of this candle, I'm out. Alright. So, what I want to see, I want to see an impulse, retest, continue its move. Why? Impulse, break and retest, break, flag, continue, or we could start seeing some weakness. I'll wait. For break and retest to reverse and of course we could easily get a break of this and then retest I would happy to get involved break flag I would be happy to get involved also as we all know you know um, London session has a high tendency to be impulsive so after this if you could see price struggling, um, going to the downside, I'll wait of the break and then retest, continue its move. So that's for all C Japanese yen. In summary, uh, I need I need more price to get interested on here. This is a nice impulse, but I I don't want to get involved on with this candle. But this one is a setup. This is a bomb. For Aussie dollar, depends after getting a counter momentum. If are we going to get this uh, this doji or what? And then I would happy to see some ranges first before tapping the bullet or before creating the bomb. I I like this. Because we had a very or a V reversal range and then break out, right? Nice. Aussie dollar is nice. Euro Japanese yen. Uh, I'm gonna update you what, what's going to happen on this candle. The only trade, the only trade of mine this week. And for Euro dollar, so we started getting this weakness, and we might see some pullback at the moment so yeah again that's my forecasting i hope you're i hope someone is um finding this as helpful for in, in their trading journey uh if not you know i'm just doing this to to hold myself account accountable you know because doing this forecasting is a very 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 helpful for my trading journey because it helps me uh, it helps my mind to rehearse what's the possible moves in the market and also um, it keeps me uh, on the game right as we all know I'm I'm just trading the one hour time frame so I'm just spending like five minutes every hour to check the market 
and yeah that's about it um thank you for what thank you for uh thank you for for you guys who are watching and then please let me know if you're if you have any suggestion i would happy to hear some feedbacks thank you bye bye